Hey, before this video gets started, I'd like to ask you to do me a favor. If you find yourself watching this video, and obviously you have because you can hear this, if you decide for whatever reason to nope out of this video before it finishes, and I mean like well before it finishes, like before the halfway mark or at any point, like you decide to like to leave before it's done, do me this favor and leave a comment down below explaining exactly why you're leaving. If it's my voice, if it's the audio, like the audio quality, if it's the co-host voice, if the video is just boring, doesn't matter what it is. Like even if it's like, well, I suddenly had to poop and I had to leave. Like it doesn't matter what it is. Just tell me what it is down below, because I'm trying to boost audience retention, and I feel the only way to really do that is by having the audience tell me what's making them lose retention. So enjoy the show. La 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 la. All right, so ugh, I'm glad I, I hate that I did that. Um, so uh, I got to tell Mark this story real quick, and uh, by I guess okay, hold on. Okay, so here's what's happening. Every one of these mess uh, these missions that we're doing is unlocking a threat sector. Like that's basically to allow you to replay it, but that's only in if you're playing in this operation. If you go to any other operation, everything's already unlocked. Um, so for those who don't, for those who don't know, I, uh, have, I am suffering from uh, acute kidney failure. This means both of my kidneys are acute and they are failing. Um, uh, do, do, you, do you know what saline is? Yeah. What is it? Tell us. So it's basically that. like well, it's like it's it's clean water. It's like salt water and yes, it's, it's clean. Yeah. It's clean salt water. That's what it is. It's salt water. Have you ever tasted saline? No, I've had no yeah. reason to. Neither have I. But here, well, I hadn't. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I knew that it was salt water. I knew that, and I was just under the impression like. For whatever reason, it didn't really have a taste to it, but I knew it was salt water. So um, at the end of the at the end of the uh, your, your your treatment, Mark, ready up for the love of God. At the end of the treatment, they have to like flush the catheter with uh, with say saline to basically push any blood that might be in it, you know, all the way back, you know, into your body. So that it doesn't coagulate and you know basically make it useless. That makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. So they have like these pre-filled syringes of saline. They are they they are plastic syringes, plastic non-reusable syringes in plastic uh, like container, like and like a little plastic like uh, wrapping, which is just so much plastic, so much plastic. Like they can make the syringes out of metal, or or like uh, not metal but like glass. Like glass would be the optimal choice. Um, so like like I'm getting I'm getting ready to go, like I'm getting ready to leave, and SpongeBob, uh, is the chick who's uh taking me off this day. So I got all my stuff in my bag. So I got all my stuff in my bag, and I'm like. I'm looking, I'm not like looking at anything or anyone. He does not have a beard, but okay. Um, how, how do I want to word this? I'm going to die. Yep, death. So I wasn't really paying attention and all of a sudden, I feel this warm liquid hit me in the mouth. Like, it just not something you ever want. Unless you're in the shower. And so it hits me in the mouth. Like, when I say it hits me in the mouth, I mean it lands perfectly on my lips and beard. Like, my lips and my chin. Uh, do you remember... The wild part about this was, Mark, like, as this was happening to me, you know what I was thinking? Mm -hmm. Think of a reference, think of a reference, think of a reference. I couldn't think of anything funny to say. The only thing that came to mind didn't make any sense. 
Do you remember in TMNT 3, uh, there's a scene after all the turtles are in uh, Japan where they like go through this trap door in the... Um, in uh, what you call it? You know what I'm talking about? Like in the in the little yeah. prison area where they free Abram, mm -hmm. and like it's basically like the uh, the garbage chute. Like that's what happened. That's what it is. It's a garbage chute. And when Leo lands, what the fuck? When Leo lands and like he's getting up, the line he says is, "Boy, do I hate spinach." Yeah. That's all I could think. And I was like, well, that didn't make any fucking sense. I'm not, like, none of this, nothing about that would make any sense here. So I didn't say that. But my favorite part about this story, which is, is long and dumb, like, not very interesting in the slightest. My favorite part about this was, like, when it hit me in the mouth, my mouth was slightly open. So it landed in my mouth. And I remember thinking two things. One, I looked over, like, I didn't look at her, but I kind of, like, looked in her, like, I kind of, like, glanced downward in her direction. So all I could see was, like, from her, like, elbows up, and she was kind of stuck in this, uh, <gasps> pose, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, she did what she did, and it was clearly an accident, but she was genuinely surprised. Like, as, I guess as much fluid came out as it did. I did not expect it to be that damn salty. Mark, when I tell you that shit was salty, boy. I don't mean like, no, nah, it's pretty salt. No, it was so salty, it was almost gritty. I mean, that's the thing is like, it is just salt and water. Yes, and like, and a part of me, like I said like, that to her, like I said that to her, like as I was like wiping this shit, shit out of my mouth, I was like, I knew what saline was, but I didn't think it tasted like that. <laughs> Like, I didn't have a clue what I thought it was. Like, I don't know because what the thing I thought is, it was. You, like. you, you consume things that have salt and water in them. On a regular but basis. But never just salt and water. N Where not the two ingredients are just the two things and there's a lot of bones. Yes. Like, I'd say there's more, it was more salt than water. But, uh... <laughs> um, I think the only time I've ever had salt water in my mouth before. When it comes to, like, water, water liquid combination, like... Water combinations I've had in my mouth that weren't very good. Every time I've ever had it, it was for for medical reasons. My grandmother uh used to have like had this remedy for diarrhea where you drink flower water. And if you're wondering to yourself what flower water is, I need you to calm down. I need you to take a break. I need you to understand. Like yeah, you're 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 not thinking hard enough. Huh? Flower water. Flower well, obviously water. you go out and pick flowers. Yeah, yeah, then you steep them in hot water and you drink a nice yeah. tea. No, you, uh... No, you, it's you, flour and water. It's, it's, it's... You, you make biscuits without making biscuits. Bis yes. And it tastes exactly how you think it would. Bad. Like, just straight up. It tastes bad. Well, almost to the temple. It, I will let you know it's hard to explain. Well, I don't know if you've ever had, like... I'm pretty sure we've all had, like, a, like biscuits or, like, Something that was like coated in flour so it wouldn't stick. And like when it baked, mm -hmm. like the flour was on top, and you kind of like get a taste of the flour. Princess and it's just like a very bland kind of taste. Our a very bland, powdery it. taste. Oh, That's what them. flour water mm -hmm. tastes like. It's somehow bland and powdery, even though, though it's wet. Like the princess just seemed like and the only other time I've had salt water in my mouth, and again, I don't know if this is a thing that you know about, although this is a, what I'm about to say sounds really stupid in hindsight. Uh, another like remedy for like if you lose a tooth we are agreed. and it's bleeding, swish your mouth with salt water. I don't know why. Yeah, I've gargled salt water for like sore throats and weird shit like that, but like that's the closest I've ever gotten to drinking saline, I suppose. I, I would it wasn't to, like made. No, I would need to discuss with a uh, with a with a, uh, a physician. Is there any like is there any reason to do that? Cause like it's like if is drinking is, it, if, is gargling salt water actually helpful for like bloody gums like if like you lost a tooth or is it at all helpful for a sore throat? Because I feel like it probably ain't. She has not moved in a few minutes. 
is about 500 meters from the... I mean, beyond the placebo effect, I mean, you feel like you're doing something. Yeah, so... So yeah, that's what it was. Like, she squirted me in the mouth with a warm, salty liquid. She stood there, shocked that she did it. And she never said she was sorry. She never apologized. And I, I wonder, like, is it is it me? Do I look like somebody? She like, did she it? did she rush away or did she just? No, she was busy there about it. And, she oh, okay. she didn't leave. She stood there, kind of surprised that she just squirted me in the face with fucking uh, saline. And then I guess when I wasn't like upset about it, she's like, okay, cool, he's fine. Because I don't know, like, I I feel like at times people see me and it's like, oh yeah, you're scary looking. Like, you know, like, I bet you have a real bad temper. It's like, why? Because I'm ugly? It's like, is that what you think about me? Is it because you consider me ugly, like I'm mad all the time? I am not mad all the time, for anybody who's curious. I'm not even mad most of the time. I'm dead. More than anything, you're annoyed. Oh, I'm alive. I'm not, yeah, I'm annoyed. But, like, I wouldn't put, I wouldn't say I'd ever get mad. Uh, I don't like when people's problems become my problem. Like, if you're like, oh man, I forgot to put gas in the car, and like, I'm out here, like, at work, and I'm not gonna have enough gas to get home. Can I borrow, like, $12 to get home? Like, ugh. Why? I'm dead. Why is this a thing? Why is. Oh, am, I, am I dead? No, I'm not dead. I don't even know who you are. I barely know where I am. I died. I didn't die. Oh, Christ. Oh, crap. How'd you get in there? Oh, wait. This way. So, yeah, that happened. And it, and it took me a while to realize. Hold on. We got a new comic found. I I'm, I'm, I am stuck at 66% with my comic book collection. But yeah, it took me it could took me a couple days to realize that hey, I didn't even say she was sorry. Didn't offer an apology, didn't ask if I was okay, nothing. Like this is what happens when you didn't ugly. Even, like, My king, the princess has gone inside. This is what happens when you are con generally unattractive. Because in the general rom com way, that's how the that's how the two leads, you know meet start. and start dating. Yeah, no, nah, I'm good. Yeah, it's like it's like, oh I'm sorry, let me let me make it up to you. Let me take you. Let me take you out. Let me go buy you food that has more salt in it. Um, two things. Give me One the good is, salt. This girl has a whole baby daddy that she seems to like. And two, I call her SpongeBob. What about that makes you think she and I could have anything in common? Uh, not just yet. Panther code. We have absolutely nothing in common. Like, this is the chick who said, I watch real TV. Like, Spongebob. Real TV. I, real, I don't know what the fuck that meant. I didn't ask. Because, like, normally if it was anybody else, I'd have been like, is this a bit? Like, is this a bit? Are you doing a bit right now? Because you just called Spongebob real TV. And I think she meant real in the sense of, like, she's learned things from watching Quality. Spongebob. I, I thought no. she meant, like, that's the quality... Look, nah, I really it's think... That's how you just, know that I like the good stuff. The I, good I stuff. watch Spongebob. This is high quality. This is a high quality cartoon right here. Is it? Is it high quality cartoon? Like, I don't watch Clarence. I watch Spongebob. Oh my god, I don't watch Clarence. I do watch Spongebob, and I don't watch Clarence. I, like, between Clarence and Uncle Grandpa, the two shows in general are incredibly offensive. Like, I, I do the, not enjoy them, no. They're offensive to the senses beyond just being actually offensive. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, it's just, like, watching it is upsetting. <laughs> like, if you get enjoyment out of watching them, uh, I'm happy for you, I'm but not. I am confused. I assume you're a kid. I assume you grew up watching them, but at the same time, like, I feel like, wasn't there other shows on that showed you that, hey, one of the enemies is stuck. Okay, never mind, he's good. He's good. 
PUBG and Craig is another one of those shows that I just don't have seen. I tried to. I think my mom liked Thunder and Thunder and Craig. Because uh, I remember it being out like when uh, a lot of the cartoons that I like ended up liking were because I had to babysit my had to because I babysat my cousin. Like that was it. It's because I babysat my cousin. And so like Sanjay and Craig. Oh my god. Do you remember Fanboy and Chum Chum? I do. Like as that that's I mean that's kinda how I got into Chowder. And uh it's how I got into Chowder. It's how I got into like the Amazing World of Gumball. It's how I got into uh, the Marvelous Mr. Adventures of Flapjack. Because I was babysitting. And like these this is the stuff they were watching. It's also, like I will openly tell you, as an adult, as a grown man, I think Bubble Guppies isn't that bad. Wakanda forever. Like, okay, so girl who was like, so old girl who was like, I watch real TV like Spongebob, Spongebob? That's why I call it Spongebob, for those wondering. Um, that's why I call her Spongebob. I, 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 like, I asked her about like, uh, like, uh, Paw Patrol. Like, did you like Paw Patrol? It's, it's important for y'all to understand, at the time of this conversation, she didn't have a child. So to uh -huh. ask her for one, do you like, do you like Paw Patrol? I was asking her as an individual, did she like Paw Patrol? <laughs> like as an adult, as a 21 year old, like adult human person, do you like the Nick Jr. original television show, Paw Patrol? Paw Patrol. Because I like Paw Patrol. I think Paw Patrol is okay. I, I like think the dinosaur version, the dinosaur episodes are cool. I don't know what you're talking about, obviously. I, I just, I like the concept of the show. I don't know the lore behind the fucking show. Uh, yeah, they have, they, there's versions where they become superheroes. And there's one where they basically run Jurassic Park. Just, just know that. I buy that. I buy it. I mean, like, the mayor of the town has a fucking pet chicken. And the mayor yeah. of the opposite town has a league of, like, kitty cats. Evil that... been, yeah, evil kittens. Yeah. So, you know, let's not think... We don't need to think too deeply into what the show is trying to offer us here. No. No, they just need to sell toys and... Well, keep your, I mean, you keep know. your kids occupied. That's what's happening. But Bubble Guppies is sick. And the reason I like Bubble Guppies as much as I do... Do you remember uh, Bobby's World? I I vividly remember Bobby's World, yeah. Okay, so you remember the, the, the uncle? Uh the guy in Hawaiian shirt with the yeah. with the with the weird yeah. with, the, with the orange hair? Weird, okay. With the weird face. A squash him. Yeah, this thing th there's a the oh, you got it. Okay. So the orange fish the teacher uh -huh. I guess in Paul in uh, in Bubble Guppies sounds like him to me. And it could be the same voice actor, but I just don't know if it is or not. I will clear this temple of them all. Um. So that's one of the reasons I like Bubble Guppies. But the other reason I like Bubble Guppies is Bubble Guppies has some dope hey, ass when music. Was the last time Wakanda installed a normal, not booby trapped backdoor? You do not bu stay bu 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 It ain't the, the theme song is fine. But the 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 song I like the most in Bubble Guppies is the uh the the like everybody line up song when it's time for them to, like go to lunch or go to recess. Like that's my that's my that's my shit. Like that's how you get me. Like like as an adult, if you want to be like, how do we make the adults like these cart like like these cartoons that we are making for children? Banger ass music, like music that is like so good for no reason whatsoever. Phineas and Ferb had a lot of that just good music. Bow, just chicka, music. Wow wow. That song is on my fucking iPod because of a a girl I used to talk to. Because she really liked that fucking song. Get you, get you, goo, motherfucker. It, it, yeah. Um. Mind you, that's as an adult. Like as a kid, like I don't. Ugh. Like they have they have bastardized Blues Clues, like. Up, down, left, and right. Thank you, beloved. Uh, whoa, Thank you, calm girl. down, calm down, lady. Mm. Whoa, I don't kiss on the first date, lady. 
I want to talk to y'all about Ninja Turtles so fucking bad. Like, you have no idea. I sat outside Wednesday morning uh, waiting for my ride. I sat outside Wednesday morning, and I went over the trilogy of the TMNT series in my head. And Mark, uh, I, I know we kind of just changed subjects randomly. Here we are. But Mark, I need mm -hmm. you to know something real quick. There's a Them... target on that pillar. Give me a second, because Mark's not here to help me. I'm right here. I'm on the green one. Well, throw the thing. Oh, it's a... the thing. Oh, I need you to stand over there. Okay. Because it's back. It's on this side. Oh, my controller's done. It's on. Oh. No, you gotta stand on both of them. Oh, they will. Clearly. Is there a weight there? I might have to... No, 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 no. There's a fourth one. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna stand on another one. Stay there. You see something moving? I do. It's right next to me. I see. I think it's on the other side. I don't know if I can hit it. Yeah. We might have to have the NPC stand there. No? Okay, it's coming out. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait hold on. Give me a second. At least it was coming out. The, oh, that's because I moved off of it. Uh, okay. Yeah, the NPCs are not heeding my command. Okay, so, then. like, there's a video that we did when we uh, recorded Shredder's Revenge, I think, last year. Oh, I thought I told you to come alone, Princess. Uh -huh. Oh, 2022. Because I think... No, I don't know what year this video will come out. Because well, this is episode 111. Panther. <laughs> um, But, like, in uh, one of the TMNT episodes we did... I did an in, impromptu, it's called an impromptu uh, retrospective of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from 1990. So here we go. I'm not going to talk about the first movie, but I'm going to talk about the first movie. The, uh, a lot of people say they don't like uh, the third movie. What's your opinion on the third movie? I saw oh, that shit in theaters. I, it's... Good thing, you know. We got yeah. content. Mm. I don't believe you were invited to this party. These voices just ain't hidden. My father came to your beautiful country when I was a child. He had heard about the mythical vibranium. Are we gonna like? Is he gonna First, die? The Black Panther outside to of a boss fight. Showed him Wakanda. Release them. My father asked for a gift to save his dying nation. But the Black Panther said they had no vibranium to give. Your father did not ask. He demanded. He threatened. And Azuri the Wise said no. Oh, oh he did not just did say no. no, your highness. He slit my father's throat. And left him to bleed out on the ground you now stand on. That panther. You should probably let it dead. go, man. So you will have to do. You and your people. You I think you overdesigned that arm cannon. No! Yeah, because like the, is the spinny part like necessary? Like what is it doing? What's going on? Did you break it? Finish the job, boys. Finish the job, boys. That psychopath killed Tony is having a time on my end. Goodbye, 
sweet prince. So, okay, what was you saying about the third movie? You saw it in theaters. As a, I saw it in theaters as a kid. As, as, a, a, as a wee bad. Mm, we, said that. Uh, we said that. And uh, at the time, I didn't like it. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? As an adult, I can appreciate it a lot more, and I, I do enjoy it. Like, I'm not like one of those people that's like, oh, it's awful. It's, it's, it's the... If you know anything about the team and team, like, it's 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 par for the course. This is something normal that happens to them. It's just like, in the movie universe, that seems a little more weird. But no, this is, this is time pretty... Travel, so yeah. yeah. Time travel is weird no this matter is, how you do it. In my yeah. opinion. Okay, so that's Mark's opinion. I'm gonna just try to tell y'all that it was one of the like I had the first one that was dubbed to a cassette tape, a, a VHS cassette tape. Get your shit together. And I had the third one. I still have that cassette somewhere, and no one will ever be able to watch it because there's stuff on that tape that I don't want anybody seeing ever in my life, not even my children if I ever have them. Uh, like when you say on the tape, do you mean physically on the tape or like recorded on the tape? Recorded to it, like the fuck. Uh, okay. I don't know. Like, like maybe you do something like, weird. I don't. Because it's like TMNT three, and then like a bunch of Looney Tunes, and then some other. It's a six-hour tape, and we didn't waste tape. Um, I was like, um, my wife's husband at the time was really into like uh, that kind of stuff. Her and my dad. Uh. So like Alan was I, like that too. Who? Alan? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean it it they 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 created us in a in a sense. Because like like tech heads now are like what? People who are really into computers and phones and yada yada yada. But like in yeah. the eighties it was just VHSs and like, you know, forehead recorders and stuff like that. That's VHS and cassette tapes, like where you can like Record all the music and movies and whatever you want. Right. Huh? Did you really think that was it? I needed an insurance policy. What are your rates? Because I'd like to know. Huh? He said he had an insurance policy. It was, uh, it was, a, it was a silly joke. I got it. I, I got it. Boy. Oh, oh, thank fast. Where are I am so sorry. No, they are dead. No, I don't think they're dead. It's not possible. They were. I think you just took them. They didn't really do a good job animating her face here. No, not at all. Like, the actress is, is doing a good job, just, you so know, like the monologue animation, and yeah. stuff. Yeah, the face isn't really sharing that feeling. Blood feeling. sister will need medical attention yes beloved and get me the next of kin for the lab technician oh they just that's I what they call him right. claw will pay for this i promise it's weird seeing him seeing him go from morph to unmorph when the camera changes mm -hmm. that's how i'm calling that that's what i'm calling that. all right uh this is going to be the end of the episode um Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna like, you know, I'm not gonna do this whole, I'm gonna talk about this thing for like the next 15 minutes at the end of a, a 28 minute episode. So like, we'll just put it like this. The next episode, I'm gonna tell you guys exactly why TMNT3 isn't, isn't a bad movie. Uh, your, your mileage may vary and your opinion most certainly will, but I'm the one talking, so I have the microphone, so I can do what I want. Get out.